at Numerian Capital, we bring you the latest stock news each day. Please like and subscribe so we can bring these articles to you each day. Thank you. Today, March 20, 2023, Mullen announces launch of EV supercar. Mullen will rebrand Kiantu's Dragonfly K50 under its Mullen GT and GTRS brands. Kiantu Motors has granted Mullen Automotive the rights to assemble and distribute the Dragonfly K50 in the Americas. Mullen will provide Kiantu with $6 million, warrants to purchase up to 75 million shares of Mullen, and more. Mullen stock is down by about 5% today. Shares of Mullen Automotive, Nasdaq MULN, stock are in the red today, despite the announcement of a new collaboration with China's Kiantu Motors. Kiantu and its affiliated companies have granted Mullen the North and South American intellectual property and distribution rights of the Dragonfly K50 electric vehicle, through a five-year licensing agreement. Mullen will also be in charge of assembling the vehicle in the Americas. According to CEO David Mitchery, This agreement with Kiantu is an important milestone for the company. Not only does it settle a long outstanding dispute between our respective companies, but also presents the opportunity to fulfill my vision for a supercar that would rival some of the best supercars in the world. Since day one, we have received overwhelmingly positive feedback for this vehicle, including our original debut at the 2019 New York Auto Show and the Indy 500 in May 2019. Mullen receives rights to Dragonfly K50. Kiantu's vehicle is currently available on Alibaba. It has a price of $122,000 for 1 to 9 units and $111,111 for more than 10 units. Mullen did not immediately disclose its selling price for the K50, which it plans on rebranding as the Mullen GT and GTRS. A Redditor notes that the vehicle has been on Mullen's website since 2018, displaying a range of 236 miles and an electronically limited max speed of 125 miles per hour. In Mullen's announcement, the company added that the K50 will have an updated powertrain to target a top speed of over 200 miles per hour and a 0 to 60 miles per hour acceleration time of under 2 seconds. The K50 is similar to Mullins Go, formerly called the iGo, in that both vehicles are sourced from China. Still, Mullin will have to tweak and re-engineer the K50 in order to meet US homologation requirements and customer expectations. The changes will be in line with Mullen's vehicle design language currently found in the Mullen 5 and Mullen 5 RS. In exchange for the rights to K50, Mullen agreed to pay Kiantu $6 million. Mullen is also obligated to purchase Kiantu's vehicle kits and will provide the company with warrants to purchase up to 75 million shares of Mullen. On top of that, Mullen will pay Kiantu $2 million for deliverable items under the IP agreement and a $1,200 royalty fee for each homologated vehicle sold in the Americas throughout the five year period. Mullen pays $6 million to settle Kiantu debate. The battle between Mullen and Kiantu Motors has come to a close. Mullen Automotive has acquired the distribution rights and intellectual property for Kiantu Motors Dragonfly K50 in North and South America. Mullen also agreed to pay Kiantu $6 million in order to settle prior litigation between the two parties. Mullen Automotive announced this morning that Kiantu Motors had granted it the right to distribute and assemble the Dragonfly K50 in North and South America for five years. Mullen will also acquire the intellectual property for the vehicle in the Americas and rebrand it under its Mullen GT and GRS brands. The K50 will have a targeted speed of over 200 miles per hour and a 0 to 60 miles per hour acceleration time of 1.95 seconds. In exchange, Mullen will pay Kiantu and its affiliated companies $6 million to settle the prior legal proceedings between the two. Mullen also agreed to purchase a certain number of vehicle kits every year from Kiantu and will issue the company warrants to purchase up to 75 million shares of Mullen stock. On top of that, Mullen will also pay Kiantu $2 million for deliverable items and a royalty fee of $1,200 for each homologated vehicle sold in the Americas during the five-year period. The two companies have a long and winding history. Let's get into the details. Mullen settles litigation with Kiantu Motors. Back in May of 2019, the two parties signed an agreement in which Kiantu would sell to Mullen K50 vehicle kits. In July of that year, the two parties amended their agreement related to a change in Mullen's payment schedule. 
Following the amendment, a dispute arose regarding Mullen's payment obligations. This resulted in Mullen filing a lawsuit against the company for alleged breach of contract, fraud and other violations. Mullen also alleged that Chianti unilaterally added exhibits to the agreement that were not previously agreed upon. In response, Chianta filed a motion to take the matter to arbitration through the Singapore International Arbitration Centre. Mullen did not dispute that the matter should be taken to arbitration, although the company noted that it would be inconvenient and cause substantial hardship. With Mullen's payment of $6 million, the litigation has now been settled, which includes Mullen's lawsuit against Kiantu and the arbitration through Singapore International Arbitration Centre. Mullen has agreed to file a motion to dismiss the lawsuit against Kiantu, while both parties will file a joint stipulation of dismissal of the arbitration proceeding. Thanks for watching. Numerian Capital News. Please come back tomorrow for another stock news update. Thank you.